One of the biggest gifts you can give your online business is monthly recurring revenue. It provides you with reliable, predictable cash flows, avoids the feast and famine cycles, and most importantly, gives you freedom to focus on developing a sustainable business rather than rushing from you know, one launch to another. Best part of all, when you follow what we cover in this video, you will trigger one of the most powerful forces in business and investing, which is the compounding effect, where each promotion builds on the previous, increasing both your monthly and annual recurring revenue. And when you have the compounding effect working for you, scaling your business is so much easier. Now, in this video, I'll show you the three primary models for building recurring revenue in an online knowledge business, including the critical success factors that you absolutely must get right for long-term success. Now, fact is, if you miss any one of these three factors, you're almost guaranteed to struggle in your business. And I'll also share the specific models that you can use to build a highly profitable, low-stress, enjoyable online business that gets massive results for your clients and produces stable, reliable, monthly recurring revenue streams for you. Oh, and if you hang around to the very, very end, I'll share the one thing that if you get right will guarantee your online business success and unlock the key to building recurring revenue. Hi, it's me all here from Lead to Launch, where we help course creators and membership site owners build profitable lead generation systems to fuel their online launches. Now, creating monthly recurring revenue streams is one of the biggest gifts that you can give yourself in your business. And while there's plenty of ways you can do that in a physical product business or a SaaS business through subscriptions, today I'm gonna to focus entirely on the online knowledge niche. So if you're a coach, a consultant, expert, or you have a repeatable process that people can use to get a desirable result, then this video is for you. And remember, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe, smash that bell, and give me a like. Now, before I get into the critical success factors, I first want to talk about the three primary business models that you can use to start building recurring revenue and some of the key differences between each of them. You, you know, you see, no matter what type of business you have today, I believe that you can add on some of these elements to supplement your existing revenue or build an online knowledge business with low overheads, predictable revenue, and most importantly, provide you with the time, money, and lifestyle and freedom that you want. And I believe the very best method to do this is with a membership. Now, memberships can take many different forms, but loosely speaking, I group them into three categories. We've got our front-end memberships, our back-end memberships, and then our group coaching and our masterminds. Now, before I get into these three models, you might be asking yourself, well, what is a membership? Well, for me, a membership is a support system that assists people to make lasting change in any area of business or life, and it helps them progress from where they are today to their ultimate desired state. Now, how does that differ from an online course? Well, an online course delivered a defined body of knowledge over a defined time period. So the vast majority of courses have between five to seven modules delivered over a similar number of weeks. Now, I'm a massive fan of courses and I think they form an essential part of a modern online business. But knowledge only gets people so far. And in my experience, what really gets people results is the support and guidance around the implementation of knowledge over time. And that's why even within the course model, people are seeing far better results now with cohort coaching based approach. So let's look at the three different models. Well, you've got your front end membership. This is one that you promote directly. This may be a standalone membership or it could be, you know, the starting or entry point to bring a perfect fit client into your world with the intent of elevating them to higher level memberships, courses, or even products and services. Now, a front-end membership doesn't always have to be a pathway to somewhere. It could be a standalone membership, but I really do feel that you know, you're leaving money on the table if you don't have a logical next step for people to take. But more on that later in this video. Now, recurring revenue model number two is your back-end membership. This is a membership that has some form of a prerequisite. In other words, something that people need to have completed before getting into the membership. Now, the prerequisite could be a course. Uh, you know, in my mind, courses and memberships form the perfect partnership. You deliver knowledge through the course and then help people form the habits and implement knowledge through the membership. But the prerequisite doesn't have to be an online course. It could be, you know, for clients who've purchased products or services and you're helping them to, you know, kind of further support them through your membership. 
Recurring revenue model number three could be a small group coaching program or mastermind. Now, the big distinction between this level and the previous two is the level of access that members have to you, the exclusivity of the relationship and the time you spend with them. Whereas a membership may to have you know, one to four deliverables a month as in calls or content released and is accessed by all your members, a small group coaching model tends to be more intimate where you have maybe 50 to 60 people per coach. Now, a mastermind, on the other hand, is where you meet with a small group, no more than 50 people, say, three to four times a year, normally for two days per meeting. The higher the contact level and access, the higher the price. So there really are no rules around this, but from my experience, most front-end memberships range from kind of $27 to $97 per month. Your back-end memberships, you know, they can range from $40 to $497 per month. Then you've got your small group coaching packages. Well, they kind of start from, you know, $197 to maybe $997 per month. Then you have your masterminds, which they normally start at around $997 and up, and they average out at somewhere in around the $2,000 per month mark. But hey, some are multiples of this per month. So my advice to you is to start out with something small and manageable from a deliverability perspective. And once you've found your groove, you can then start to build, uh, you know, kind of over time and release new levels. Okay, so now that we have the different models, let's look at the three critical success factors for a recurring revenue model. Now these are one, growth, so that's attracting new members, two, retention, so keeping your existing members, and three, revenue maximization, so increasing your existing member spend. So first up, let's look at growing or you know, attracting new members. Well, the number one way that you can attract new members to your membership is through a product launch. Now, this model was developed by my friend and mentor, Jeff Walker, and the chances are that even if you're not familiar with the name product launch, you've been through the process at some stage. You know, the basis of a launch is that you create huge volumes of anticipation, excitement, and desire through the release of highly valuable, free, but very intentionally structured content in advance of making an offer for your membership. And having delivered just under 60 of my own product launches and helped countless others, you know, with theirs, trust me, this process works. Now, there's three phases to a launch. You've got the awareness phase, the pre-launch phase, and then the offer or the open cart phase. So when I'm coaching or, or working on the delivery of a client launch, I like kicking off the launch with a kind of a two to three week awareness phase. So during the awareness phase, you're not talking about your membership. Um, the awareness is of the problem you solve and the results that your, your members have gotten or how they've overcome these problems. In fact, I go as far to say is that you shouldn't speak about your membership or your upcoming offer at all, but instead you should share the success stories of your members. Now, the most important thing is that the success stories are positioned in such a way that they demonstrate the key problems that you help people solve and what's possible for people once you know, these problems have been solved. So it's important to start increasing your email frequency during this phase because when we come to the pre-launch and the offer phase, the emails become, you know, an awful lot more frequent. So you want to up this before we get to there. And, you know, this is also a perfect time to up your live stream frequency and your social presence so that when it comes time to, you know, your pre-launch phase, and your, your, your offer phase, you've warmed up your audience. Now, if you've ever taken part in a three-part online masterclass or workshop, the chances are that you've experienced the launch. And that is exactly what we deliver in the pre-launch phase. So during the pre-launch, we offer people the opportunity to register for a free online workshop or masterclass. Now, this can be three to four individual training sessions spread out over time, um, or you can actually combine all the core principles that we're gonna to talk to into a single, single training session. Now, in the first session, you're, we're gonna share the opportunity. That is, what is possible for people if they were to implement your methodology? Now, people need to understand why they should pay attention and what's in it for them if they were to follow your process. And that's what the opportunity part does. In the second session, you position the transformation. And this is how their lives would change if they got the results that you were offering. 
In this section, you go deep delivering huge value, demonstrating your ability to get people results and sharing the key components of your overall approach. Now, the third part of the workshop or masterclass, you're gonna really hone in on ownership. Now, ownership is not necessarily ownership of your membership but it's the individual ownership of one's own situation for your audience. So in other words, you want to demonstrate to your audience that no matter what is going on in their life, they have the ability to get results that you promise. And one of the key ways to do this is through case studies and success stories. People love seeing people like them getting results and it helps to instill a sense of belief that you know your process works and more importantly that it can work for them. Now, at the very end of this third part, you can foreshadow the fact that you will be giving people who are you know, interested in continuing their journey and going deeper with their learning an opportunity to join your membership in the coming days. This then brings us to the offer or the open card phase. Now, throughout your pre-launch, you haven't mentioned the fact that you're going to make an offer until the very last section of that final module that we talked about. And you're entirely focused on delivering value and creating an exceptional experience for people. But this changes in the offer phase. You know, directly after the final module, you're gonna open cart, preferably with a video sales letter and a supporting email. Now, the open cart period can last anywhere from three days for a quick launch to a more standard five day or, you know, a long six, seven day open cart. The key for open card is to have a very, very single focus. So every communication drives people to your offer page. You should email every single day and you know of open card and each email focuses in on a key element of your offer. So you know you might have an email for the transformation, you might have an email on the process for help people achieve the transformation, you might have you know results others have achieved in your membership, you might focus in on your bonuses, maybe your guarantee, and then your frequently asked questions is another you know really strong area. So when it comes to open card, having a defined deadline and sticking to it is one element that would possibly drive the most sales. You know, having a deadline forces people to get off the fence and make a decision. And it's not uncommon to see 30 to 60% of your total sales come in on the final day of open cart. Okay, so that covers off the first critical success factor for building a recurring revenue model in your business, which, you know, that's the growth or attracting new members. Now, the second critical success factor is retention. Now, this model that I'm sharing is from another friend and mentor, Stu McLaren, and that is the success path. Now, one of the keys to keeping your members is having a defined path for them to follow towards the ultimate transformation which they want to achieve. You, you see, when somebody has a path to follow, they can see where they're starting from, and most importantly, they can see the progress that they make over time. So having a defined success path clearly describes the three to seven levels that somebody will go through from joining your membership to achieving your ultimate transformation. Now, your success path should describe the characteristics of a person at each level, and it should also give them the milestones they need to hit to attain that level and the actions they should be taking in your membership to help them hit their milestones. So let's use an example from my own business. When it comes to lead generation, stage one could be somebody who's just starting out. This means that they've you know, identified their niche, they understand their current pain points of their perfect fit clients, and they're working on their lead magnet and their opt-in page. Stage two could be somebody who has set up their Facebook business manager and their ad account, and they've launched their first ads. You know, They're learning how to optimize their ads and their landing page, and they're working towards their first 1,000 leads. Stage three could be, hey, you, now you've got a steady flow of leads, you're comfortable managing and scaling your ad campaigns, and they've launched their first mini front-end product and getting their first upsells from opt-in. Then stage four could be, they're getting sales from their mini front-end product, and those sales are covering the cost of their paid advertising and lead generation activities, and they've launched additional upsells as revenue maximizers from that mini front-end product. Stage five then could be, hey, you've got a reliable and sta stable funnel that is generating perfect fit clients at scale, and now you're starting to work on additional funnels. So once you've mapped out those characteristics, people will be able to see at what level they're at and what the next stage in, in the process is for them. And we can then develop milestones for each stage and link those milestones to specific actions and activities in our membership. 
the clarity and visibility around the ultimate goal you help people achieve, the path that they need to take, and most importantly, the milestones that help them measure their progress will keep your members engaged, excited, and coming back for more, which will drive your retention rates through the roof. Now, the third critical success factor for building a recurring you know, revenue model in your business is revenue maximization or increasing your existing member spend. And that's where my Value Ascension Roadmap comes in. Now, you can find more detailed descriptions of my Value Ascension Roadmap in the video linked on screen. But for now, know that your Value Ascension Roadmap is the journey that a perfect fit client takes through your business. You need to make sure that you always have a next step for your perfect fit fit client to take. For every group of paying clients that you have, 20% would be willing to pay you five times more than they are right now if the right offer was placed in front of them. Your value ascension roadmap gives the 20% of people who want to spend more money in exchange for greater results, of course, the opportunity to do so. Now, if you look at how I laid out the three categories of recurring revenue models, you can see that they were, they were laid out in an ascending manner. And um, that is the lowest cost with the lowest interaction and lowest levels of access first. This could be a front end membership or indeed your front end course. Then we had the back end memberships would provide an even deeper level of transformation for your perfect fit client, all the way to your small group co coaching programs and eventually to your high end mastermind. By lining up each level in your business is the logical next step for somebody once they've gotten the result they desire on their existing level. You are making it easy for them to ascend through your business and in do doing so, paying you more money and maximizing your revenue while getting them massive results. Which reminds me, at the start of this video, I promised to share one thing that if you get right, will guarantee your online business success and unlock the key to building recurring revenue. Well, hang on with me for a minute and I will get straight to it. But first, I want to recap what we've covered so far. So we've looked at the three primary models for building recurring revenue front-end memberships, back-end memberships, and group coaching and masterminds. We then looked at the three critical success factors for building recurring revenue. Growth, attracting new members. Retention, keeping existing members. And then revenue maximization, increasing existing member spend. And I shared the key models to maximize your results for each of those critical success factors. So what is this one thing that will guarantee your online business success and unlock the key to building recurring revenue? Well, you see, there's a major issue in the online business world. There's an impression that anyone can start an online business, and I don't necessarily agree with that. Now, I don't for a second believe that you need to have a major qualification or you need to be a recognized thought leader to have a successful online business. In fact, some of the people who've had the biggest impact in the online world have no qualifications, and they were initially looked down on by their profession or by the, you know, the big gurus of the time. So how did our businesses grow? What do you need to do to make your business a success? Well, it's all about the results that you can help people achieve. If you have a proven process that works, a proven process that gets people the results they want, it isn't about if you'll be successful, it's just about when. So the starting point in all this, no matter what kind of course, membership, group coaching, or mastermind you want to launch, Focus first on building a repeatable process that will ensure people get the results that you promise. And I can guarantee you, if you do that, your business will be a success. So now that you know how to start building recurring revenue, you're probably gonna to want to take a deeper dive into generating leads for your online business. So make sure you check out the videos linked on screen for lots more on how to get started with lead generation and how to design landing pages that convert. And if you haven't already done so, make sure you click that subscribe button, ring the bell, and give me a thumbs up. Oh, and even more importantly, please do scroll down, leave me a comment. I promise I'll apply to each and every one personally. See you in the next video.